The Importance of Drinking Water for Weight Loss Most people gain a lot of weight initially because it is very difficult to avoid drinks that are packed full of sugar. Many people's everyday diets consist of soda or juice or smoothies, all of which contain higher than healthy levels of sugar. It is unhealthy for the body to be so consistently overloaded with sugars. And if this issue isn't addressed, it can easily begin to pack on the pounds and make it difficult for your body to process the excess sugar it is consuming. The importance of drinking water for weight loss is largely misunderstood. In fact, water in general is very underappreciated, especially in Western culture where sugary and caffeinated drinks are far more coveted by the masses. These drinks are packed full of calories that can make it seem impossible to begin losing weight, no matter how much time and effort you put into it. Water is a low-calorie alternative that is not only helpful in losing weight, but also beneficial in a whole plethora of other ways as well. Water is hydrating and moisturizing, and can help clear up skin problems and provide our skin with a healthy glow. It can also contribute to having soft, well-hydrated skin that is pleasant to the touch, when we are able to provide our bodies with a proper amount of water, it can also help us to reduce headaches and to flush toxins from the body. It can actually be very common for our bodies to confuse thirst signals with hunger signals. It is recommended that if you hear your stomach growling, that you begin to drink water first rather than eating. It can help you to begin to differentiate the feeling of hunger versus thirst. It can also help you to prevent consuming needless calories because you have mistaken your body's reaction to thirst for hunger. Always try to drink water when your stomach growls or you have hunger pangs because the indication that you are thirsty is the same as when you are in need of food. A lot of people get confused by this, but it doesn't mean that you should eat every time that you think you are hungry. Just keep this in mind as a rule of thumb, and you may be surprised by how easy it is to avoid consuming needless calories. Something that not many people realize is that water is an appetite suppressant. That means that should you choose to drink an adequate amount of water, you will ultimately find that you are less hungry throughout the day. This may be especially true when you drink a glass of water before a meal. It will help you to suppress your appetite and keep it contained so that you aren't overeating during your meals. It is an especially useful trick if portion control is a struggle that you are coping with. Drinking a glass of water before a meal can be one of the most beneficial and natural ways to prevent yourself from overeating that there is. It will also help your body in general to get a good amount of water so that you are able to focus. Much like getting enough fruits and vegetables without an adequate amount of water in the diet, the human body tends to become sluggish and miserable. We are designed to run at our best on a good amount of water. It can be likened to the fuel that keeps our bodies moving at their greatest capacity. The general amount of water that it takes to keep things moving smoothly is about 64 ounces daily. That will help you to have a decent grasp on your appetite and a sharper mental focus. When you are at your best mentally, it will help you to stay at your best physically as well. There will be a great amount of focus and perseverance required in achieving your goals. And if you are meeting your body's basic requirements, then it will be a lot easier for you to do so. Possibly the most incredible thing about drinking water is the fact that it can help you to boost your metabolism simply by drinking it. It gets your body primed to burn calories at an extended rate and allows the body to utilize your fat as fuel. Overall, utilizing water as a way to lose weight is a great way to easily assist in a foolproof diet. It will be especially efficient if you are cutting out other types of drinks, particularly soda and other high sugar juices and things like that. For the best results at weight loss, you want to try to keep your sugar intake to a minimum. And replacing sugary drinks with water is a great way to begin to burn calories that are already there rather than putting more into your body. If you find that drinking water and water alone is not working for you, perhaps because it is too plain, you could try tea or infuse your water with fruits or vegetables. Cucumber in particular makes a very refreshing way to infuse water and encourage you to drink more, presuming you like the taste of cucumber. If not, there are several other viable options that you could use, including but not limited to watermelon, lemon, or strawberries. These are all great and delicious ways to increase your water intake without increasing the caloric content of your water by a large amount compared to drinking soda or juice. You may be wondering if juicing is a good idea, especially if you have seen all the documentaries and other research about juicing. 
The simple fact is that store-bought juices contain concentrated amounts of sugar from the fruits contained within them and also added sugars from the processing of creating a product that people will consume. It is not healthy. However, if you were to juice fruits and vegetables, that is a different story. The catch here is that using a juicer to drink your fruits and vegetables rather than eating them will deplete the beverage from the healthy fibers that make fruits and vegetables so beneficial for the body. Rather than drinking pulp-free juice, make sure to add in the fibers, at least a few for best results. You should also avoid juicing a lot of fruits all at once, because you will simply be consuming what could essentially be considered as sugar water. Fruits are high in natural sugar, and if you are overloading your body with a juice that is primarily all fruit, it can be detrimental. The trick here is to drink juices that are two parts vegetable and one part fruit, and add in some of the pulp so you are also getting the added benefit of the fibers that make fruits and vegetables extra healthy and good for weight loss. We will talk more about juicing in the last video, as there are many tips and tricks that can be utilized for weight loss, especially if you are interested in a large variety of dietary options. As a rule, consuming a good amount of water is the greatest thing that you can do to boost your metabolism and jumpstart your ability to lose weight. Without a chance to rid the body of toxins and energize the cells, our bodies retain both water and fat, and that can make it nearly impossible to achieve the bodies that we want to achieve. Accomplishing your goals can be easier than you think. Just make sure you are drinking approximately 64 ounces of water daily so that you are able to fully benefit from water intake in order to make your diet as foolproof as it can possibly be. You will be glad you did. It is such a simple and helpful tool in aiding in both weight loss and improving our overall health. Most people don't think twice about grabbing a soda over a water, but when you are making the time to think about what you are putting into your body before you do it, then you will do much better losing weight over the long term. And this is the only foolproof way to truly make maintaining a healthy body into a lifestyle that you can stick with over the long haul. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.